we made this video about a bird box that got taken over by a swarm of bees. But before we get to the bees, I'll show you the ringtails that had also taken over the bird box uh, and kind of made it into their uh, little nest. And that's a, a mated pair that I'll make another video about. Here's also uh, a little wren uh, that was kind of trying out the uh, box just a couple of hours before the bees had actually shown up and and i think it was thinking well I'll, I'll come back and see it again tomorrow and try it out and maybe i'll just build a nest here because it was springtime and that's what that bird is doing is looking for a nest site well about two hours later um some bees started showing up and we started seeing them on the uh live stream of the camera and it didn't take long until a whole bunch of bees showed up and it quickly became apparent that we've got a little problem uh, going on here with the bird box, not the bee box. Uh, I've since then renamed it in my mind to the bee box uh, because a year down the road, they're still in there and they've completely occupied it, taken over. They stole my camera from me and they don't appear to have any intention of giving it back. Well, this image right here is about 90 minutes into everything. Um, they've been there you know, an hour and a half and, and have completely, they're, they're, it's just a growing mass. Uh, it went into black and white here because it got so dark in the box that the camera switched over to its infrared night vision mode. Uh, and that's how it's gonna stay for the rest of this because it, it stayed uh, you know, too dark to uh, see anything with color or daylight or whatever here. What you're seeing right here is about three hours into their occupation of the box. And they're a big hanging mass of one bee hanging on to the next, to the next, to the next. It was pretty incredible to see just because it seemed like the weight on the, those who were hanging onto the ceiling would really be fairly extraordinary. When you watch this big hanging mass, one of the interesting things I thought was that, I don't know if, if it's the tree that the box is hanging on that's causing this, but the mass of bees will actually begin to sway and swing at times to where you can see the whole group of them are kind of like a, a curtain just kind of hanging there and, and swaying around. This is about 10 hours into the, the bee invasion uh, here and got some uh, close-ups uh, just to give you a little idea of what the uh, underside looks like. And that bee's upside down, which you can see sort of is uh, what I believe is kind of his tongue apparatus uh, underneath his chin there that sort of tucked down and then they'll sling it upwards and forwards when they need to use it as a, a tongue per se. Um, and here's kind of a, a bunch of them all hanging onto one <laughs> bee, it looks like, and uh, that just seems nearly impossible uh, for them to, to do that. Over on the left side of this video, right here, the very bright area, we're about six days in now, uh, is some honeycomb being formed. And now we'll switch into kind of seeing how they work over uh, the wax uh, and whatnot. You can see him using what I think is his, is his little tongue or his glossa uh, or hers, I suppose, uh, is what this is. And, um, and they use that to smooth and apparently kind of work it over and, and whatnot. And at times here, you'll see that, you know, this, this honeycomb is applied to the glass lens. And I think that their tongue is actually right on the glass right there, uh, kind of whip it around on it and cleaning it up. And, and it's funny that in making these critter videos, most of the times when the animals get in there and start licking on the camera, which is what this bee is doing, uh, they make a big old slobbery, muddy mess. Whereas this bee is actually cleaning things up to where we're getting a beautiful crisp view, uh, you know, tidying up everything and get a nice view of things. They've kind of built their doorway there to where uh, I found that, or I observed that kind of uh, 
some of the bees seemed like they couldn't even get in to that cell of the honeycomb. And, you know, they'd get in and get about halfway and couldn't make it uh, from that point. But uh, this guy's going to get in, tidy things up, and get ready to start flowing in uh, the honey. You see that, that little snake-like tongue whipping around on the glass, cleaning, thing, cleaning everything up. And, and now they're going to get ready and start kind of basically uh, laying down that honey, uh, you know, from within their mouth, they're storing it. I don't, I'm not a bee expert, so I don't know how they do it. Uh, but they're kind of spraying out um, or spewing out uh, a bit of honey at a time there. And we'll see several little faded together segments of the video here to see how they're going to fill up that cell of that honeycomb uh, with honey. I just keep on laying it down and, and it's thick enough that it basically stands up and at times, if you look very carefully, you can actually see bubbles. And coming up here, you can see some of these little micro bubbles actually rise up uh, through the honey, which gives you some idea of sort of the thickness of it. And this guy's about to wrap up his work here, so it was generous of him to give us a rare inside look to how the bees actually make their honey and put it into the honeycomb.